Good evening, I'm Warren Mitchell, and you're watching RSS News, and we have a story for you that's raising more than just a few eyebrows from the conspiracy theorist crowd. Microsoft has announced a new AI-powered feature by the name of Windows Recall that will record everything you do on your computer. Yes, everything. It's exciting new technology from the same people who brought you Windows Vista, Windows 8, forced automatic updates. Just kidding. This is a bit. I'm not Warren Mitchell and this is DS Tech Media. I'm Jay and I do videos about tech, especially Linux and open source. Speaking of which, if you like this sort of content and you are interested in tech, gaming, open source and Linux, hit the thumbs up button for me. It helps more than you would think. Uh, share this with somebody who might need to know. And if you're a real G, hit that subscribe button. And unfortunately, the news is not a joke. Uh, Windows Recall is a real thing, and it does record your entire screen every few seconds. All right, let's uh, let's talk about Windows 1984 in an ARS Technica article by Benj Edwards. The illusion of privacy, new Windows AI feature records everything you've done on your PC. Recall uses AI to take images of your active screen every few seconds. Microsoft says on its website, the snapshots are encrypted and saved on your PC's hard drive. You can use Recall to locate the content you viewed on your PC using search or on a timeline bar that allows you to scroll through your snapshots. By performing a recall action, users can access snapshot from a specific time period, providing context for the event or moment they are searching for. It also allows users to search through teleconference meetings they've participated in and videos watched using an AI-powered feature that transcribes and translates speech. This recall feature seems like it may set the stage for potential gross violations of user privacy. For example, someone with access to your Windows account could potentially use recall to see everything you've been doing on your PC, which might extend beyond embarrassing implications of prawn viewing and actually threaten the lives of journalists or perceived enemies of the state. Despite the privacy concerns, Microsoft says the recall index remains local and private on device, encrypted in a way that's linked to a particular user's account. Recall screenshots are only linked to a specific user profile and it does not share them with other users, make them available to Microsoft, or use them for targeting advertisements. Screenshots are only available to the person who profile is signed into the device, Microsoft says. Users can pause, stop, or delete and exclude specific apps or websites. Recall won't take snapshots of in private web browsing sessions in Microsoft Edge or DRM protected content. However, recall won't actively hide sensitive information like passwords or financial account numbers that appear on screen. And Microsoft tried to do this with a feature called Timeline in Windows 10 as well, and they discontinued it in 2021. But there is a little bit of good news because it's currently in preview status. Also, this is a feature that's going to be limited to Microsoft's Copilot Plus PCs. And the reason for that is it's actually kind of hardware intensive and it requires something called a Neural Processing Unit or NPU. In order to be a Windows Copilot Plus PC, the device has to have that NPU. Uh, here we have another ARS Technica article about Windows Copilot Plus. The NPUs are actually kind of impressive. They operate at 40 trillion operations per second. The only processors that have NPUs that operate at the level needed for Windows Recall are Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite and X Plus processors. These are totally different architecture than most x86 processors like AMD or Intel. They're ARM processors like the ones found in phones or tablets, or like the M series Apple Silicon in MacBooks since Apple moved away from Intel. 
So I already recorded this video, published it, entitled it Windows 1984 Total Recall. And I'm making changes to the video because not only did I get a copyright claim because of the news music I used at the beginning, which I'm switching out for this version you're seeing now, but also because a lot more of information has come out about recall. We have this article from Kevin Beaumont. He did a bunch of research and a Q&A because he's been testing with it. When you're logged into a PC and run software, things are decrypted for you. Encryption at rest only helps if somebody comes to your house and physically steals your laptop. That isn't what hackers do. For example, info stealer trojans, which automatically steal usernames and passwords, are a major problem for well over a decade. Now these can just be easily modified to support recall. However, the bigger scandal is revealed by another researcher, Alex Hagenau. He's actually published a working tool that extracts all the data collected by recall. Hagenau's work builds on findings from cybersecurity researcher Kevin Beaumont, who has detailed how much information recall captures, how easy it can be to extract it. Info stealer trojans steal usernames and passwords are a major problem for well over a decade. These can be just as easily modified to support recall. The criticism comes as hacks of Microsoft systems have led to various U.S. government data breaches. Nadella, that's Microsoft's CEO, says the security should be Microsoft's top priority. Microsoft did not respond to Wired's request for comment about security features of recall by the time of the publication. But two weeks ahead of recall's launch on new Copilot PCs on June 18th, security researchers have demonstrated how preview versions of the tool store these screenshots in an unencrypted database, so it's not even encrypted. The researchers say the data could easily be hoovered up by an attacker, and now in a warning about how recall could be abused by criminal hackers, Alex Hagenau, a cybersecurity strategist, strategist and ethical hacker, has released a demo tool that can automatically extract and display everything recall records, dubbed Total Recall. It's kind of funny because when I started working on this video, but I already had the name Total Recall, and here's this, you know, guy who's now at the center of the story. His tool is called Total Recall, and you can even uh, download it. But I was right about this being limited to ARM hardware. The only way to run Recall without the NPU is with this tool called amperage kit and this will enable it to run on hardware without an NPU. However, it still has to be ARM64. So Qualcomm Snapdragon or Ampere. If you have an ARM64 device with Windows, you can install this amperage and that'll let you enable recall. And then after that, you can use this tool here, Total Recall, to extract all the data Already, this is a total disaster and security nightmare for uh, Microsoft. It'll be interesting to see uh, what they do. A lot of people are calling for them to cancel recall entirely. They've rebranded their Bing AI as Copilot. And I wanted to make this distinction because there's Copilot and Copilot Plus. Copilot is all of Microsoft's new AI technology rebranded from Bing AI. And Copilot Plus are the devices that are already on pre-order, but they'll be officially available on June 18th. And the Copilot Plus devices are the ones containing the Snapdragon X system on the chips. And those have the NPUs specifically for Copilot AI features, including recall. But yeah, I felt that this was kind of an important part of the story, so I'll be republishing it. And now back to the rest of the video. And here is Microsoft's Copilot Plus website, and they highlight Recall here. Built-in peace of mind, sure. Here are some of the laptops uh, there from Samsung, Asus, Microsoft Surface, Samsung Galaxy, Lenovo Yoga Slim, Omnibook from HP, there's a Dell, an Acer, another Dell. Low-end models start at $999. Not exactly cheap, not super expensive either. Now let's take a look at how people feel about this new feature. Smart marketing move. I assume there will be an accompanying set of Copilot minus PCs since I'd pay extra not to have this on my PC or anywhere in my general vicinity. As a sysadmin for a hospital, this is the stuff of nightmares. Looks like a primo hack target to me. 
I hope they really have it locked down. Yet another erosion of privacy marketed as a feature. Am I being too dystopian and thinking in another 10 to 15 years, there's going to be a search charge not to record my every waking moment? And I think a lot of these people might be missing the fact that this isn't necessarily going to end up on all Windows 11 PCs. Unless you have this neural processing unit, I don't think your hardware can do this. To think ads in the UI in Windows 11 was why I ran over to Linux. This would have sent me there even if I couldn't get all my programs to work in it. Translation, Microsoft Recall will make it easier for activists and your political rivals to break into your account and easily expose your extramarital affairs. Do you want to live in a world where this is possible? The pressure to dive into Linux for even my gaming has never been higher. Really looking forward to this accidentally turning itself on with every update. Windows 11 won't let you skip updates, so who's to say it'll let you opt out? The giant security hack of Microsoft by foreign state actors and nearly year-long response to said hack to the U.S. government is just one of the reasons to run away from this. I don't understand who in their right mind would think local recordings on your computer built into code by Microsoft's a remotely good idea. More dystopian bullshit as we've come to expect. I was happy to see, you know, people talking about Linux in some of the comments and that's, that's become more and more common as stuff like this happens continuously. Uh, like I said, this isn't really something that just any computer can run at this point in time, but we could easily see in the next few years a time when most laptops and desktops even will have tensor processor units and neural processor units installed and you know that this could be something that does become standardized on Windows 11. I would definitely recommend checking out Linux. Linux is my main operating system. I'm recording this right now with Linux. I'm going to edit this with Linux. I game on Linux. I use Linux for everything. I even use Linux to run Windows inside of VMs and whatnot. And I'm going to be doing a series of videos pretty soon that will be hopefully about helping people understand and get started using Linux. It's something I've meant to do for a while now. I already have some videos like that you can check out, so take a look at my other videos on the channel i might be able to link something over here if you're on youtube maybe what are your thoughts how do you feel about this would you want a feature like this some people don't care about privacy concerns at all the fact that it's stored locally and encrypted might be enough for them if that's you let me know in the comments below anyways i thank you for watching please hit that thumbs up button like share and subscribe I'm Jay, and this is DS Tech Media, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.